Hey, what's up guys? It's time for a new tutorial today. And today I'm going to learn a technique that is very useful in situations where you want something to be squeezed out or sucked into something. So let's see what we're going to do. Okay guys, let's start up here. We are going to make a new composition here. So we're going to make a new composition. We press OK. Now we're going to start to make the tube. So we take the rectangle tool. So we drag it out, I think, around there. That size is good. And we can align it to the center, like so. And we are going to um, go down to layer. And we're going to add right, right click and take layer style. And we're going to add a gradient overlay. And we go into the gradient overlay. So. And we can set this to um, dark blue. Let's see, are we? I think around here. We can just copy that. Control C and go over here and mark this and Control V to paste it in. Then we're going to add a new one here. Let's set it in the center. And we're going to have a little bit lighter color on this one. I think there is good. Then can we drag this? A little bit more into the center. I mark this one. We can drag this in a little bit more to the center, like so. So that it look a little like it's round, like so. And then we're going to add an effect here. We're going to add this mesh warp. I have already typed this in here, so we can just drag this mesh warp in here. Let's see here, drag it into the shape, like so. And then are we going to change some setting here? We can going to have two, three rows is good and columns. We can set this to three columns like so. It's what we need. And we're going to take this and press here. And then can we drag this down a little bit down towards the center? And we do the same here. Press there. And we can drag this a little bit more to the center like so. And we do the same on this side. We drag this down here a little more to the center the same here. press here drag this up towards the center i think around there is good enough so now that we have this tube that we're going to press the text in so we can do so we go up and take the text tool and we can type um, text like so and we can align it we can align it to the center we can right click and we go into layer style and add some bevel and bows. And we go in here, bevel and bows. And we can set this to normal. And the same for this one, normal. And we can crank this up to 100. And the same here. And we change the color to um, quite light blue, like so. And we can change this to a little bit more dark blue i think around there is good and maybe increase the size to nine i think there is good that's a good size for the bevel like so and how can we do so we um can um, press p so we can set the position we can go forward one second and we can set a keyframe there and then can we do so that we um, go to the start and we can um, drag this out like so. Drag it out so we can't see it in the composition anymore. Around there is good. That's fine. Like so. And then can we do so? We can. Now we can. We can do so. We can set the go forward to two seconds. So can we set the new keyframe there? And then can we go forward to three seconds and then can we drag this outside of the composition like so so we have this coming in and then does it stay and then goes it out like so but we're going to do so we mark all the keyframes and we press f9 to ease ease them and then can we press this uh, graph editor and then can we do so that we um we can mark this one like so we can drag this out like so 
And we can do like so that we mark this one and drag this out like so. Let's see. We get here, slows down, swishing out like so. If you can't see this here, so can you just right click so you can see see to that this um, edit speed graph is um, checked like so. But then we don't need this anymore. I think we need to drag this a little bit closer. I want to have this to be a little bit faster when it goes away. So let's see here. How does this look? It slides in and that's yes, that's fine. Now we can get onto this layer and just copy this mesh warp like so and we can control C and mark it and we go down here mark the text and control V to paste it let's see how does that look now and there we have it guys something to be squeezed out or sucked in technique so hope you have use for this in your upcoming project and if you like to support me so can you always support me on patreon you'll find the link in the description below and if you have any questions, don't hesitate, just uh, type them below, and I'm going to do my best to answer them. But for now guys, it's time to say, over and out.